All right. So on number one, uh, it just says use proper notation to name the figure. So number one is a what? Or A, one A is a what? A line. So we just call it line X, Y with the line symbol. B, what is B? Half line. Half line. So it's going to be half line what? CD. CD. So CD, and then you just put the half line symbol on top. C is a what? Ray. Ray. It would be Ray TS. You got to start with the T because that's the end point. And the arrow should still be going to the right. D is a what? Segment. Segment. Mm -hmm. And N. Does the order of the letters matter on that one? No. Segment symbol. Okay, number two is weird, so we're going to talk about that one. Good. How many disjoint sets are formed on line AD by point C? Three. Three. Name them. Okay, so if we're using like point C as our splitting thing, what are the three sets? Roman? Uh, he raised his hand. CD. CD. Or no, as a ray. Okay. So what'd you say? CD. CD yeah. is CD is a what though? Ray. No. Oh, segment. No. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Line CD is a. Okay, so what's everything to the right of C is a what? If you're not counting C itself. A line, a segment. Uh, half line. Half line. Half line. <laughs> so it's half line CD, that's one part. What's on the other side? C A, half line. Half line CA. Uh, what segment, else? Segment uh, CD. Nope. Okay, everything in the line is included in these two except for what? Oh. C. Point C. That was kind of a weird one, that's why I did it. I see. But don't. If Willie had said that, she would get a mark. <laughs> okay. Really, you just like no longer talk. Number three, what is the end point of. Ray B C. B. B. Because it stops on that side, right? It doesn't go past B. So B is the end point. Number five. Are rays A C and C A the same? No. Explain why not. They're going different ways. Okay, there, yeah, there's kind of two reasons. There's two fails. One reason they fail is they, are on the same end point. they don't have the same endpoint and they're also going opposite, in opposite directions. So both of those make it fail. Okay, using the same picture, we kind of already did something like this, but name two half lines determined by point B, so like around point B. BD and BA. BD and BA. 
Now, is BD the same thing as BC? Yes. If you're talking about half line, yeah. It doesn't really matter. It's going to make grading this a little bit harder because there's multiple possible answers. Okay, nine. So we're down below. Nine kind of refers to number eight. Eight says F is between C and K. Is F between C and K? So nine says what other points, somebody said German, what other points is F between besides C and K? M and L. Is that all? No. Yes, that's all. Okay, when it says between, it has to be on the line between. That's what they mean by between. Okay, number 11. Uh, name two pairs of opposite rays. So, Linux, can you give me one pair of opposite rays? Yep, FL and FM. So we're talking about rays, which means we need to use that symbol. FL and FM. Semicolon. Somebody else give me another pair of opposite rays. Corey? Uh, FC and FK. FC and FK. So they have the same endpoint, F. And they're going in opposite directions on the same line. Okay. Number 13. Uh, what are the, anybody, what are the two half planes in the picture? S1, S2. S1, S2. There's no symbol for these, so just write it. Uh, 15. Okay, it says S1, upside down U. Okay, so what did that symbol mean? Intersection. Intersection. And what did intersection mean? What they have in common. What they have in common. So, it's kind of a trick question. What do planes S1 and line K have in common? Half plane S1 and line K have in common? Nothing. Nothing. So... Yeah, because the line is not in the half plane. So what am I going to write? No. Null set. Empty set. Okay, but 17 has the U thing. What did the U thing mean? Union. And what does union mean? Everyone's welcome. So if we combine all of half plane S1 and all of half plane S2 together, and then we do the, what do they call that thing? Yeah. Complement. It means not. So what's not in these two half planes together? What's not included? K. Line K. So you just put K or line K. Uh. Okay, so on 8, 19 refers to 18. On 18, if you do the union of the half plane, half plane line, what does that create? Plane C. Yes, the entire plane C. And uh, what postulate supports that? It's, it's one that they put on this lesson. I didn't really mention it, but it's like the top of page 20. It's just called the plane separation postulate. I don't really care if you know that one. It's not. I do not deem it important. But we'll go ahead and write it down just so we don't skip any. It just says any plane is split into two half planes in a line. Okay, 21. 
This could cause, this does cause p some people issues. If you're good at spatial reasoning, not, it doesn't cause any issues, but we'll go through the odds, hopefully get you guys warmed up here. I'm gonna draw EFGH. It says on 21, uh, Ray FG, intersection Ray FE. So what does Ray FG look like? Wait. It looks like all that, right? Let me drag that down a little bit. And the other one is Ray FE. I'm on 21, not 20. Ray FE looks like what? All that. Let me drag that down a little bit. And then between them, it says, Intersection, which means what again? What they, have in common. what they have in common. What do those two have in common? Point F. F. So it's just F. Now, if you look at 23, it's the exact same letters and they're both raised, exact same thing, except for what did they change? Union. And what does union mean? Everything. So if we combine both of those together, what does that create? Line. The entire line. So what am I going to put? Line. EF. EF, EH, E is going to. The important thing is it's a line symbol. Doesn't really matter what letters you use. Or it's on the line. Let's see what the book used. They used EH. I win. 25 is Ray GF. Okay, so those are new. I'm going to throw those away. Ray GF is all that stuff. And Ray EF. So that starts at E going that towards F. Okay, so these, these overlap some, right? Um, and it asks for the intersection on 25. So what do these two rays have in common? EG e what? Segment. Segment EG. You guys see it? This is yeah. not as obvious to everybody. Uh, they both have everything between there and there. So from E to G. Not just point F, that's only one little dot. The whole thing. So that'd be segment EG. Okay, Ray FH. That's that thing, right? And then, uh, what's the other one? GE. That's that, right? Kind of looks like the last picture so far. But this time we are doing union. So everybody's invited. So if I use both of these together, what does that create? EH. EH what? Line. Line. The whole thing. Well, some of you might think this is easy, but uh, it actually gives some people problems. It's just some people's brains work differently. That's just how it is. My brain just doesn't work at all. Like, What'd you say, Jaden? My brain doesn't work at all. So. You jump start it. Uh, the edge. Planes don't have any edges normally, but half planes have, have an edge because they're split by the line. So the line is the edge. Oh. Okay, uh, 29, there's one more. It says FG, this one says segment FG. And the other one says Ray G H. So this picture is a little bit different than the other ones. And what are we doing in Union? Wait, yeah, Union. Okay, so if we unify these two, what's that create? Ray, Ray FH. Ray FH, or you could have said Ray FG. So 
the book right, 